Hey guys and girls, I want to give you four criteria, that's right, four criteria that you can base all of your decision making on while you're out fishing. Four, only four. These are so important, you should probably write them down on the top of your tackle box or if you're really into fishing, put them on your refrigerator so you'll think about them all the time when you're out there fishing. Probably none of you will do that, but just remember, these four things are what you base all your decisions on when you're out there fishing. And if you will do that, you will become better fishermen. You will catch more fish. One is the type of water you're fishing. What type of water you're fishing? Fishing a, a man-made lake, a natural lake, a, a flat type lake, a mountain type lake, or a, make, be, a made on rivers, or, or you know, fishing a farm pond, a stream, a creek, a river. The type of water you're fishing. Base your decisions, one of them is on the type of water. What the water is doing at any given time. That's number two. Water is always doing something unless it's frozen solid and it's just don't lay in there. Even if it's like that, the water underneath that is doing something and that ice is actually doing something as it sits there. What the water is doing, it's getting warmer, it's getting colder, it's getting muddier, it's getting clearer. Uh, the pH level is moving up or moving down. All kinds of things happening to that water that you need to know and you need to pay attention to when you're making your decisions. Okay, the type of lake you're fishing, what the water's doing at the time you're fishing it. Another thing, the weather, the weather, what the weather is doing. The weather is one thing that we make so many of our decisions on, but it's only one of those four criteria. The weather, what the weather is doing. It's a little clear right now. It was cloudy earlier the day. It actually rained a little bit. Uh, the winds picked up a little bit. It was calm. The wind was blowing about 50 mile an hour during that rainstorm. All kinds of things like this that really affect what the fish are doing, how they act, how they bite, how big their strike zones are, whether they'll move to get a bait or they're going to stay right there and you got to bump them on the nose with that bait. So the weather, the weather, and the last thing to think about is the time of the year, the time of the year. Now these are not necessarily in that order, by the way. Those are just four criteria, the time of the year, the time of the year. Do not make the mistake of two or three, four or five weeks later going back to the exact same place where you caught them four or five weeks ago and expect to catch them there again. The time of the year has changed a little bit. Sometimes it's changed quite a bit. Sometimes in tournament fishing, we go to a lake and we might be there and fish five or six days and have great success. And then so we go back two years later and we go back and try to fish those same areas, put those same patterns together and make that successful trip that we did two years ago work for us right now. Generally, it doesn't work. Many times, it's simply because it's a different time of the year. Different time of the year. So that's very, very important. Putting all of this into one fell swoop, keep a log in your fishing, and that'll help you put it all together. I used to do this all the time. Don't do it anymore. I don't do it anymore. But a fishing log will help you because it will isolate those things. What the weather is doing when you're out there fishing, what the water is doing, the type of lake you're fishing, and the time of the year. Guys and girls, go out there. Make great decisions. Whack them. Whack them. Whack them. And remember, I sure do love you.